Hi guys, it's me Erica and about two weeks ago I traveled to New York City for the first time with my choir group and in actuality we did more touring than competing and I actually bought some stuff, not like a lot lot because I was trying to calm myself and not buy everything there so let us start. So the first things I got were actually magnets but I actually gave those all away for like family members and stuff. But then I saved myself this New York keychain, this little teddy bear keychain that says New York and has the crown of Statue of Liberty on it because I thought it was really cute and I needed a way to remember that I go to went to New York without just like the memory of it. So I got that. And then the next things I bought were we went to the actual we went to Times Square and there's a lot of stores there, but we could only go to a few because of time so we went up, ended up going to the toy not the toy store toys r us and we rode the big uh, ferris wheel and we also went to the disney store and even though there's a disney store where i live i just wanted to check it out and they had the zoom zooms i actually wanted for the new ones the big hero sex the <laughs> the big hero six ones and this frozen one that i couldn't find so here are the ones that i have i got hero Hamada. Um, go go tamago. It's really chubby, so I like these. Um, Baymax in his armor armor suit. Unfortunately, they did have him in his just unarmored self. But this one's pretty cool too. And I'm pretty sure where I live, it might have been sold out already because Tsum Tsums are very popular all around, but. Also, where I live, they tend to sell out a lot. And I, when I found this Tsum Tsum I'm holding right now, I screamed internally because he sold out everywhere and he's not even available on the Disney store any, anymore, like as you can buy him online. And then when I saw him in New York, I was like, oh my god, I have to get it. And it's Hans from Frozen. And if you don't know, I actually have a very, that he's like one of my favorite male characters in Disney of all time so that's why I was like freaking out and unfortunately he didn't have Kristoff but still this one I saw him and I was like oh my gosh and I only have like a few more things to show actually because it's a really quick haul um, and one of the big highlights of my trip was actually going to the Nintendo store and then a Nintendo World store excuse me and it's basically a store for Nintendo that only exists in New York and Japan, I think. And there's only stuff... I mean, I'm sure you can get stuff on eBay, but it's like a whole different experience if you get the things there and experience Nintendo World for yourself. And so I tried to contain myself the most in the store. And I kind of wish I bought a t-shirt from there, but I just ended up buying like three plushies from there. And they're all from Pokemon, so I for at first, I picked Jolteon from Pokemon, and unfortunately, they didn't have all the Eevee, Eevee evolutions. But I guess that is kind of a blessing because then I would have bought in all of them. <laughs> so then, and then the other one is Flareon, and they're really cute too, and chubby, and I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, and then I got. Espeon. These are really well made. I'm really surprised. And for the price of like $12, I don't think they're that bad. So, okay. Whew. And I mean, I experienced more in New York and I bought stuff. So, I guess my life, my last item would probably be the thing that is actually a something you should do when, when you're in New York is go to Broadway and Broadway is like a whole street dedicated to musicals and uh, yeah to musicals and for our trip we were we were scheduled to watch one of the longest running musicals of all time which is Phantom of the Opera and I always heard stuff about Phantom but I've never like actually watched it so when I watched it for the first time at first I was kind of confused because all the, it's one of those musicals where they continuously sing but I mean they're still talking parts but they sing a lot 
and they don't have a break for it. And I actually really enjoyed it, and I really like them in the voice. Whose name is in here, I can't remember his name, but the last thing I will show you guys is actually a keychain from the Phantom of the Opera that I have on my back, my back, my backpack, and yeah, it's really pretty and it's really, I don't know, worth the price that I paid for it, and yeah, but I didn't want to go hardcore crazy and buy a shirt for $30, so I wasn't that hardcore about the show yet. If this was Wicked, then I would probably buy that, but... Anyways, thank you so much. Thank, thank you for watching this really short haul. And actually, I did record scenes from New York that I'll make up into a vlog. But at the moment, I'm kind of busy and also waiting up, so waiting for some clips. So it'll come soon, eventually, hopefully. But I know it'll come out. Just, just wait for it. Thank you. Thank you so. Blah. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.